Kia ora, good evening. The parents of the man accused of killing Scott Guy have given evidence at his trial for the first time. Ewan McDonald's fa mother and father say their son was upset and crying when he called to tell them Scott Guy had been killed. While McDonald's wife was questioned about diving boots, which the Crown says the killer wore, Simon Bravel's been in court. For Ewan McDonald, guns are a way of life. The boys from a very young age, Kerry, put, put a firearm in their, in their hands just for curiosity's sake and to show them the safety of firearms. We're not allowed to show you Ewan McDonald's parents, but both gave evidence that he grew into a keen hunter, going on deer stalking trips to Taupo, or on this occasion, Stewart Island. And it was on these trips that Ewan McDonald would sometimes wear diving boots. We just used them as camp shoes. So if you're hunting during the day, you took your, and often your boots, your hunting boots got wet. So you take them off and let them dry out. The Crown says whoever killed Scott Guy in July 2010 was wearing a distinctive pair of diving boots. And they say Ewan McDonald had bought just such a pair from his father's hunting shop. But Ewan McDonald's wife said she thought she threw them out when they moved house in 2008, well before the murder. We were going to move and I thought, I said, you know, we're not keeping it, we're not taking that down because we were just having a big clean out, a big throw out. And Marlene McDonald said the boots weren't there when she stayed at her son's house shortly before Scott Guy's murder. So it wasn't there in June of 2010 when you were there? No. How sure are you about that? I am positive. Yeah. I would swear on the Bible. Police giving evidence today that despite an extensive search of the Guy property, they never found the dive boots or the Labrador puppies they say Ewan McDonald stole to make police think the murder was a burglary gone wrong. While Ewan McDonald's parents also recalled their son was crying when he broke the news to them of Scott Guy's death. I said to him, um, do you know how he was killed? Mm. Um, and he said, I think his throat might have been cut. Contradicting the Crown's claim that Ewan McDonald told people his brother-in-law had been shot even before police knew that that's how Scott Guy died. Simon Bradwell, One News. And we've got plenty of coverage from the trial on our website, onenews.co.nz, where you can find a blow-by-blow -blow account of what's happened so far.